What's up, degenerates? Mad Murrigan here for Cold Bear Sports. Right, what a day again. Really, really great day for Cold Bear Sports. Still a couple of my selections to come. I have one from the Patreon and one in uh, Killarney Tronador. So let's hope they run well and the very best of luck to everybody that has followed them. Right, what have we got today? The first horse just touched off. Uh, just bet ahead but like you know I never make excuses we move on and there's plenty more winners coming my 100 to 1 shot advised each way finishing second so look I always focus on the positives because there's just too many uh, winners on the way to even worry about why you aren't good enough to pick a winner in a certain race but anyway brilliant brilliant day for the channel again and uh, yeah the cotton is over so let's hope my Patreon selection can get it done this evening as well. That would be nice after getting that massive profit on King Son. Trained by David Broad and ridden by young Jack Foley. Right, before I go into tomorrow's selections, a quick word on the golf. Because we have a massive, massive tournament coming up. And uh, yeah, another major. So look, it's a really, really deep tournament and it's interesting. But I have gone for... Tommy Fleetwood, I think, is definitely a massive, massive uh, chance. I think he'll run deep in this one. I really do. I think he played solid the last last weekend, and I think he's he's the tools sharp and now to to be bang there. Look, I'm not sure the price. I think he's thirty three to one, but I will double check it. I see Paddy Power are shouting and roaring. They're doing twelve places. Oh my God! First major ever. Yeah, but you greedy. F I won't. Sorry, I don't want to swear, but you're six to the odds. So, like, fucking when you're roaring and shouting over the tannoys, you know, don't be buttering everybody up and then hiding the fact that you're a six to the odds. You're a greedy firm. That's what you are. Anyway, right. Uh, let's, and I'm going to, <laughs> hey, we're going to take ye, not me, my community is going to take you with a super Yankee one day. Right. But anyway. Yeah, look, they're roaring and shouting. I was in there doing a couple of bets today and they're roaring and shouting over the Tannoy. The first 12 places ever on the major. Yeah, first 12 places and you're a six to the odds. You greedy, greedy, greedy man. Right. Anyway, look, let's take some of the money off him. Justin Thomas, I like. He's going to be banged there. Solid the weekend. Just a brilliant player. He's around 18 to 1 and trust me, he is a, like, he... I don't want to say value, but he is some player. And uh, I think at 18 to 1, after coming off the back of a brilliant weekend, he definitely has a chance. So I'm going to leave it with three uh, selections. Justin Rose, Justin Thomas, and Tommy Fleetwood. And the usual, a point each way on them all. And I hope, uh, I think Justin Rose showed uh, glimmers, of, not glimmers of promise, he showed lots of promise the last day. And he's at the course early. I think he was out there knocking balls around uh, all week. So I think he's finally tuned. Uh, 45 to 1, Justin Rose, lads. What a player. I thought he was good value. That was with the Paddy Power 12 places with the 6 to the odds that they seem to be hiding. Uh, but anyway, look, Justin Rose, Tommy Fleetwood and Justin Thomas for me against the field. Massive field. The very best of luck, lads. What a fucking tournament. I'll be glued to it all week. So yeah, or all weekend. So really, really interesting. Right, I'm going to move on to tomorrow. Make a quick fee. Let's get through these. The one o'clock in Linkfield, Bristol Missile or something like that. Richard Price trains this and I think Molly Phillips could be the key here. Gets the seven pound off and this horse has ran well a few times without kind of winning and I think it's Karen is coming again. And tomorrow, Molly Phillips is £7 off with a jockey in flying form could be the difference. So really, really interesting. Now, another angle I always said to you that I never tip up horses in novice stakes. The only horse I ever tipped up was Baid because I really think it takes a very good one to carry a penalty. However, as much as I loved Baid and I knew he was pretty, pretty good, there's a Philly running tomorrow called Yes, Yes. Now, this Philly runs in a Philly's Novice Stakes in the 135 at Linkfield. And just as Baid is a machine, this Philly is a machine. This is a very, very good Philly. Um, this was an interesting Philly because I was, stand I was in a bookies one day and I was standing there and I was looking at the market in this race. It was a maiden in Haydock. And all of a sudden, I was going through the race and you had Pam Slice at the head of the market and there was a couple of other... I think it was a Gosden or some of them anyway with rock solid form. And then all of a sudden I just seen this filly and I looked at her pedigree and 
she was around 72 and I said to myself she, like, this filly should be 10 or 12 to 1 unless she's a fucking good one and she was constantly around 72 3 to 1 130 around that price so I backed her anyway I said fuck it I'll back her I backed her and she, I think she went off a bit short to 3 to 1 or 11 to 4 or something like that and confirmed my uh, inquisitive uh you know, with the market, the way the market was, I knew something was up. I think Yes Yes is a special filly. I think she could be very good. So I'm prepared to say she is, and I'm going to go against what I always say. Don't tip up horses in a, in their uh, in novice stakes. But I really like Baid, and the way I like Baid, I really like this filly. Yes Yes, I think she could be special. Right, let's leave that there. The seven twenty or yeah, go on sure whatever. Two fifty five in Catrick, Homer Stokes. Dropping back a Furlong and trip, landed a gamble the first day in Weatherby, and I was lucky enough to catch a small few quid each way on it. Um, definitely won well, showed plenty of pace, uh, won't mind to drop back and trip, bounced out the gate, knew its job, David Barron had this ready. This is by stimulation, was good to firm that day, it's good to soft. Connor Beasley for David Barron, around the 11 to 4, a pint win, definitely could be good, like they backed it from 28s or 33s into 7 or 8 to 1, so what a touch to add. The first day. Right, to 6.55 in Killarney. Paul Flynn trains this Taz Sham or Taz Sim. I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyway, Luke McIntyre getting a valuable five off. This ran well around Gore in the last day. Lugged the little left up the home straight. So Killarney might, you'd be thinking, will suit it a lot better. And is still lightly raced and ran well the last day. So this definitely has a chance tomorrow. A pint each way. And then Earl of Tyrone, a horse that I really liked. And I don't know what's been going on with him, but... A uh, pint win at 9 to 1, 7 to 725. I see he's a hood on tomorrow to try a few different things with him, but I think the only thing they need to do is let him on and don't be gotten. All right, lads. Hey, have a few quid in him tomorrow as well. A pint win. The time for gotten is over.